another video okay you already know your girl in the kitchen we about to be cooking up a good old meal as y'all can see at the title above this video is long overdue you hear me it is a long overdue and i'm finally coming with it 2020 we about to be dropping these cooking videos all the rest of 2020 i got a lot more videos in store i can't do these videos by myself i got my mama with me she not gonna be on camera but y'all gonna hear her in this video because we about to cook it up just a breakfast so you know we gotta like do we gotta do around the house and then we about to be starting this video so y'all continue on watching and y'all let me know what y'all think at the end so y'all continue on watching and we're gonna show y'all how to cook it up okay <laughs> in our style 504 you heard me okay <laughs> okay so these are the ingredients you're going to need to do the jambalaya so you're going to need celery you're going to need green onions garlic onions bell pepper tomatoes fresh parsley you're going to need cayenne pepper garlic onion powder pepper salt seasonal bay leaves just some of these not the whole uh thing we got some hot sausage, shrimp, chicken breast, and sausage. And so this chicken right here is some leftover chicken that come out the bag that's frozen from Sam's. For as chicken, what do you suggest, mother? It, it's options. Jambalaya, to me, is like when you cook gumbo. It's a thousand ways to do a jambalaya. I just happened to have this mesquite smoked chicken breast that I got from Sam's. There's only two pieces left. Since I'm doing a jambalaya, I'm going to throw that in a jambalaya. Sometime if I have ham, I'll put ham in a jambalaya. But jambalaya, let your meats be with your preference and your taste is. Whatever type of sausage you eat, put it in there. Whatever type of chicken that you want to put in there, if you do do raw chicken in a jambalaya, pre-cook it in the oven to cook mm. the juices out of it. But this is just options. Jambalaya is like gumbo. It's a thousand and one ways to cook it. It really depends on what you have in your freezer, what's available, what you want to put in it. What do you like to eat? Okay. This is just an example of the type of jambalaya that we're doing. Yes. Oh, and don't forget the rice. We're going to be uh, cooking our rice in the microwave. And we have the oven on because we're going to be cooking our sausage hot sausage mm -hmm. in it because uh hot sausage has a lot of grease and stay tuned okay when you chop your seasoning for your jambalaya you don't have to chop your seasoning fine because jambalaya is a dish where you want to see your seasoning and taste it so if you chop it too fine it's going to cook up in the pot As you cook the rice, we cook our rice in the microwave. It's still gonna come out good, does not matter. Just make sure you add a quarter a teaspoon, teaspoon of salt, salt in the rice. rice. Because once you mix your jambalaya, the rice absorbs most of, the, of some of the flavors from it. So you don't want to absorb everything because once you mix your rice and your jambalaya, you have to taste it and make sure that the flavor is there. Because mm -hmm. you may have to add more flavor to it. Okay. All right, so when you cook your jambalaya, you have to make sure you have everything prepped. We put the shrimp in the refrigerator because we don't want to keep that, you know, out too long. So that's the seasoning that we showed you earlier. That's the parsley. You got your tomatoes. Oh, peel your tomatoes and then cut them up. So you don't want to cook. <laughs> you don't want to cook your tomatoes, you know with the skin on this it's optional if you want to uh take the skin off your tomatoes but we took the skin off of ours that's the season that we showed you it's all of it together that's the two cups of chicken these are some bay leaves just take some out you don't want to do too much this is the sausage just cut up and it's the hot sausage and we just about to cook it on up 
Okay, you guys, so we're about to start. It is 12.21 p.m. And so you put some cooking oil in there and you heat that up. If you don't know how to add season, start out with maybe a half a teaspoon of each and then go back and taste it. Season on. This is garlic powder. I'm not a, I don't measure seasoning guys. So I just add it to taste. Onion powder. White pepper. Now, cayenne pepper. Now that I measure. I've always put a little bit. Ooh, wait, that's too much. Like a Just teaspoon. A, a tiny bit in the in right there. And that's it. As far as cayenne pepper. You want the flavor, not the high. Salt, go easy on your salt. I'm not gonna put that much salt until you taste it to see. Now I'm going to add the chicken. The chicken is already cooked, so it's not going to take long. The hot sauces is already cooked. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to mix this in. You don't add the shrimp to the end because you don't want your shrimp to cook up in the top. Now I'm going to put a top on this, a tight fitting lid, and I'm going to let this simmer. I'm going to put it on simmer. I'm going to put the top on it and let it go for about 20-30 minutes. But I will be checking it in between. Alright, it's 12.50 now and this is how it's cooking. Oh my god, it looks so good. Look all the juice is making on its own. Ooh, ooh, wait, we fogging up. Oh, that was good. Right. Looks so good. So I'm about to taste the food. Who said that you cannot taste your food when you're cooking it? Because, baby, I'm about to taste. Let's see. I'm going to taste the juice. Taste the juice. And I some of the juice right there. Mmm. Tastes good. Okay, you see how you can see your seasoning in it? That's how you want your jambalaya. You see the onions, you see the, the bay leaves, you see, you know, you see your seasoning. Because this is just about done. Mm-hmm. It's 12.59. It has been on like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a few more minutes and it's going to be done because everything is cooked in it. 
Yeah. I'm going to give it another 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll add my shrimp to it. All right, make sure you drain your shrimp before you put in jambalaya. Right yeah. now, it's 104. The jambalaya is done. Let's put the shrimp. Let the shrimp cook up in here for maybe 10 minutes. Once the shrimp get done. Oh, you got shrimp right here. Oh. Okay, no shrimp left behind. All right. <laughs> oh, the rice is already cooked, you guys, as well. Yes. So I'm going to mix the shrimp in. Looks so good. And we did not put one drop of water. All this flavor, all this juice came from the seasoning, the meat, and everything. Not one drop of water. No water. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. All right. We're going to give it about is. 10 minutes for the shrimp to cook. Okay. All right, it's been right. two minutes. Ooh, look at the shrimp. All right, I'm turning it off. Pull it off the heat. This is done. Yes. All I have to do is add rice to it. Now, the thing about jambalaya, this juice, I'm not going to put the rice in this pot. I'm going to put the rice in a separate container because it may not take all of this juice mm -hmm. to make the amount of jambalaya that I want with rice. And most times when I make jambalaya, I may have some of this left. Uh-huh. You can put this in a freezer. It freezes well. You can take this and add rice to it later. Or you can make a pasta lye out of this. Mm -hmm. You can add noodles to this if you don't want to add rice. And it'll be a pasta lye. Mm -hmm. And it's just as good and delicious. At this point, um, I'll be tasting it already. Flavor is where I want it and everything. But I will have to taste it again after I add the rice because the rice is a starch and it sucks up some of the flavor. So we're going to make sure that our flavor is still there after I add the rice to it. But right now, this is done. Mm -hmm. Now all we all have to do is mix the rice with it. Okay. And that's it. So we'll be back. All right. We got to put that rice in a container. We're going to add the jambalaya. Get your big spoon. I'm going to get my ladle. Yeah, the little thing here. Yes. I couldn't think of that name. Excuse me, let me rinse it off, please. Alright. Oh, it looks so succulent. <laughs> Ooh. And this is not the box stuff, baby boo boo. This is like from scratch. If you have like a little box jumble like that y'all see in the stove. But we don't do it. We do it this way. We do the box. You, I never even seen you even do box jambalaya since I've been growing up. I've tried. It just come out good for me. That's all. Yeah, I guess when you cook, you can't do box stuff. Because I can't cook box stuff. <laughs> Ooh, looks so good. You mix it on up. The consistency that you do is up to you. You don't want it to do it too dry. You don't want to do it too wet. Kind of do experiment do what you like once you get to this point you do however way that you want to do it mm -hmm. and it's not going to be a red jambalaya it's not a red one because i didn't put tomato paste and nothing i put the fresh tomatoes and it, as you can see it's, it's really getting juicy but it will suck up a lot of the juice mm -hmm. and i still have some left over here mm -hmm. and i'll probably throw this in the freezer and pull it out one day when i don't have nothing else to cook I'll pull this out and do something with it. Yeah. It's simple as if I want to pull it out just from dad and I and serve it with hot rice or whatever, you can do that. Or you can add noodles to it mm -hmm. and make pasta like. Oh, talk about the um the differences since we're doing this. Oh, and the jambalayas. There, mm -hmm. there's, there's Cajun jambalaya, there's Creole jambalaya, and I ain't gonna lie to you, Cajun jambalaya is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Cajun jambalaya is spicy. You don't usually find tomatoes or seafood in a Cajun jambalaya. Mm -hmm. But I love a Cajun jambalaya. My sister does a bomb Cajun jambalaya. Yeah. Her stuff but is good. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is consistency that I wanted for it. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Like right now, it's not too dry. It's not too juicy because it's going to suck up some of the juice as we go along. So yeah. you don't want it too dry because... You know, then it'll, the, the rice is going to suck some up. But then you don't want it too wet either. So kind of get a, a middle consistency with it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, then no. you gotta put it in the refrigerator and warm it up too, so you gotta make sure it's like you know just right. Put what in the refrigerator? I'm talking about like when you um like oh you're re warming, re -warming. Yeah. yeah for the mm -hmm. next day for like the next leftovers. Day. Now we need to taste it to, for the flavor of this to see if we need to add dry seasoning to it. Okay. Because the rice sucks up a lot of flavor. Okay. You taste it. Okay, so I'm about to taste it. I just, I just taste just the rice and the juice. Rice. I didn't do the meat. We just taste it for flavor. It's hot. Mmm. It's good. We need to add anything? All right, well, that's it. And that's I'm going to freeze um, this. This is going in my freezer. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.